What up? It's Aaron Moses. Man, I hear a lot of people say, Aaron Moses, I want to open my own business. I want to be an entrepreneur. Bro, you don't even have the integrity, the discipline, and the work ethic to do well at your own job. You are finessing yourself out this lesson that you get every day when you work this job. You go to work high, got drunk last night, you got a hangover, and you try to slow down the whole production of the team because of your own selfishness. Now, <clears throat> I've never owned a super successful business or anything, but from what I hear, 80% of the work is things that you don't want to do. 20% of the work is things that you do want to do, right? And you might say, okay, I can hire somebody to do this, but you don't have any capital. You cannot hire anybody to do what you need to get done because nine times out of 10, if you're watching this, your credit is shot. You don't have people skills. And if you don't have the integrity, self-discipline, and motivation to do something that you don't want to do already, you're not going to be successful in that field. <clears throat> you're not going to be successful in that field. So you do have to understand, number one, the language that you use. I want to work for myself. That's impossible. That's impossible, bro. You know why? Because when you work a job, yes, you have a manager. Yes, you have a boss. But you being your own boss, you being your own manager, you're going to have clients. You're going to have customers. And guess what? The customer is always, always right. The customer is not your manager. The customer is not your boss. You're going to have to make adjustments to your lifestyle, to your mind, body, and soul to be able to service the customer to the highest ability. Okay? Your products have to be on point. Your services have to be on point. You want to be a millionaire? I'm not going to give you the Steve Harvey formula and tell you you need to learn a skill that costs $10 to learn, but you could charge $30 and do that $100,000, $100,000. No. Simply put, bro, being a millionaire, how do you become a millionaire? How do you get a million dollars? You have to find a way to get a million people to give you a dollar, okay? You have to find a way to get 100,000 people to give you $10. <clears throat> and if you can't even do... The basics. Having a job is basic. It's normal. Okay? It's not like going to college. Not everybody's built for college, but everybody can obtain and maintain a job, a gig. Okay? That's just something that is normal. How can you do something extraordinary such as owning your own business if you can't do something ordinary such as getting up on time? Getting to work on time, coming off a break on time, doing your job. People ask me all the time, Aaron, do you like this job? Is this something that you really want to know? What you think I am, a robot? I understand that this is a lesson. I understand that my mind is chaotic enough. Chaos means chaos means the, the presence of all. My mind is chaotic enough for me to be able to soak up knowledge from anything and everything I do. Me having to be consistent, me having to be on time, me having to learn my body and learn these energies and learn about food and learn what works and what does not work, learning how much time I could spend before and after work to get certain things done is all a part of me training myself to do what I don't want to do when I do what I do want to do, you know? Me trying to exercise these success muscles, these discipline muscles in my brain, okay? Now, I want you to understand that success is not built off of failures. All these success theories I read, all these autobiographies and biographies, a lot of them say that you have to fail in order to succeed. You do not have to fail in order to succeed. What you do have to do, however, is you have to practice being successful. And you working this job, you showing up on time, clean, doing your job well, these little things should be viewed as successes, not you being a slave, not you being a part of this capitalistic institution. Don't look at it like that. It's all about how you frame it. These little, these little wins that you have, you have to invest your energy and your emotions into them. You did it today, okay? These eight hours, they were hard. Your feet hurt. You did everything today that you did not want to do. The only thing that you did today was make money. It's not about the money, bro. Don't finesse yourself. Don't don't finesse yourself out that lesson, bro. You have to understand that the little control that you do have over your life, you have to use that to get more control. The little power that you have, use that to get more power. 
the choices that you have, the choices that you have should be utilized for you to make more choices. Think about that as the money, not the actual money. The money, you can get money anywhere, bro. But the fact that you chose to get a job and to have that job and to learn from what you are experiencing, that's the best choices that you can make, bro. Now, a lot of people say, well, my favorite rapper, my favorite rapper was in the street and he was doing this and doing that. Bro, doing crimes is easy. Doing crimes and surviving off of crimes is not hard, bro. The hardest things about being a criminal, the hardest things about being an outlaw, whatever you want to call it, is learning about the right people to be around and dealing with the paranoia and dealing with the fact that you might have to go to jail one day. Those are the hardest things. And that's not hard to do. It's not hard for you to find people that are going to be solid. It's not hard to deal with the fact that you're going to go to jail. And if you really are really paranoid about anything happening, all you have to do is stop. Everything else that comes with that, I don't really want to talk about. So, you do have to understand that you you doing things that are illegal. Yes, that takes a lot of... It's really all about the audacity for you to do those things and how much, how much power that you want to put into doing those things and putting yourself in that place. But ultimately, you have a lot of people, you having the ability to do things on your own accord is not going to be a reward. And that's a fact. That's a fact. If you can't even do the basics, how did the only, what do you have to do to keep a job, bro? What do you have to do to keep a job? The same things that you have to do pretty much for anything. Okay. You have to wake up on time, get there on time, do what the manager tells you within reason. Okay, communicate, work as a team. Uh, don't break anything and leave, bro. It's more. There's a. There's a little bit more to that, but at the same time, you have to. I believe it's all about you viewing the six, the little successes, understanding the the importance of you not tricking off, understanding the importance of the fact that there's information out there everywhere for you to build these skills and for you to take this and use it for what you really 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 want to do and it doesn't matter if you want to i'll give you an example bro if you want to work in a restaurant right if you want to open your own restaurant but you cannot find a restaurant job that pays something and you have to work at a warehouse or you have to work wherever as a painter don't discount the lessons that you will get from that from whatever job that is. Don't discount the fact that you are learning how to redirect your energies. You are learning communication skills. You're learning problem solving skills. You're learning how to work on a team. You're learning about specific numbers and whatever it is. Just don't ignore that. A lot of people like to take pride in the fact that they finessed six out of eight hours just by having a conversation and walking around doing nothing. And I look down on those people. I feel bad for them. I feel bad for them because they're such, they're so zombified. They're in a such, they're in such of a low state that they think they're doing something that is beneficial to them. Now, I know it's hard. I know people have kids and you need your energy to do other things. But you are ultimately harming yourself. You're ultimately harming yourself. Okay, I'm going to go into something else real, real quick, but it's all relative. You have the choice of doing one of three things. You can go to work and do nothing. You can go to work and do just enough, or you can go to work and do more than that is required. Now, if, if you understand these principles of energies, spirits, entities, deities, if you understand that all, all businesses, 99% of businesses have some kind of external spirit ruling over it, and they see you, they see what you do, they see what you like Santa Claus, <laughs> they see what you do, if you do exceptionally, 
if you do exceptionally well, these energies, no matter what side you're on, whether if whether or not you're a Christian, whether you're a Satanist or a Christian, a Catholic or a Luciferian, these energies will reward you for doing an exceptional job. If you steal company time and you break products purposely because you're having a bad day and you just you're just not doing a good job on purpose, there's going to be energetic debt to be paid for that, bro. It doesn't just go away just because you feel like you finessed six out of eight hours just because you feel like you came in, I was tired, I didn't feel like doing anything, so I'm going to just act an ass. Like, bro, there's actually energetic benefits outside of the money, outside of these lessons, outside of you learning how to maneuver and do certain things in this work environment, bro. But I just want to give you, I just want to tell you that if you really, really, really want to own your own business, if you really don't want to have a boss or a manager over you, you want to work with your own customers, your own clients exclusively, the best way to do that is build that confidence and knowing that most of what you're going to do when you own your own business is not going to be it's not going to be easy it's not going to be what you signed up to do initially there's going to be hard work involved because having a 9 to 5 that's 40 hours a week when you own your own businesses how much how how much do you think you're going to be working if you own your own business how many hours exactly bro 40 hours a day that's that's more than 40 hours a week. <laughs> that was so stupid. But nah, for real, for real. A lot of my mentors told me owning a business is a 24-hour job, bro. It's not eight hours and you get to go home and you don't have to think about it. All you do is just decompress, drink your little beer, smoke your little weed, watch some football, eat some Cheetos, go to sleep. You cannot do that when you own your own, your own business, bro. And if you can't even keep your focus for two, three hours at a time, enough for you to do well you're not going to do well owning your own business i promise you okay you might think it's cool you might think you're a rebel you might think you're the adversary you might whatever you think that is not gonna cut it bro if you can't do something so basic and simple as owning your own i mean <clears throat> something so basic and simple as going to work you're not gonna win bro you're not gonna win you're not going to win because every th you're always going to have to work for somebody. And that's a fact. But that's it, man. It's Ann Mothers. I'm the bang. You the bang. We the bang. Together, man. Life's in the breath. Beat it in. Birds. Huh.